the new untethered green poison jailbreak for iOS 4.2.1 was released today and I'm going to try it out on my iPhone 4 and uh, as you can see it's not been jailbroken yet uh, now what you need is green poison of course and you need to uh, power off your device and make sure it's connected. Now when you press prepare to jailbreak, you have to be quick. So yeah, you see. It's kinda hard to do with just one hand. Go and then press jailbreak. While we wait for the jailbreak, there, it's done. While we wait for the phone to boot, I would like to point out that this is the home page where you can download it from. If you find any other links on this video other than this one, then it's fake, pure fake. And there we go. And install Cydia. can remove the loud loader now. You don't need it. Uh, wait for another reboot. At this point you can disconnect your device if you want to. The jailbreak is done. Now we're just waiting for the phone. There's Cydia.
<sighs> and there we wait again. I'm sorry about all the waiting, I'm just too lazy to do a fast forward or learn how to do a fast forward. When it's finished loading, I'm also going to uh, power off my device and restart it, uh, just to show that it is indeed in untethered. And uh, I'm also going to start Cydia once I have uh, rebooted it. There we go. There's Cydia. Working like a charm. Now. Power it off. Now I'm booting my new untethered iPhone 4. I will also show you that Safari is working without a problem and Cydia 2 of course the good thing about this jailbreak is that you don't need your IPSW uh, like you need with the red snow jailbreak so um, I much prefer this jailbreak mm. Where's so far? There. Safari working. No problem. And Cydia. There you have it. It's untethered.